Normally in your living room you want to have something the focal point that's beautiful or uh, people want to talk about it. Uh, ironically, people like talking about this, but for different reasons than um, I would like them to. I think it's time to just, uh, just to go my normal route of throwing money at things and see how much better it looks after we get done throwing money at it. We got $20, $21. We didn't have much cash, so I gave it a, a check for $13 and then 50 cents, um, but not really 50 cents because they're actually arcade tokens. I don't know. Uh, $47.37 looks pretty good on here. I think my work's done. My name's Matthew, and today we're gonna be making this uh, ugly, uh, yeah, just, just take that all in. Hearth, uh, less ugly. Well, we're gonna do our best. Like, uh, at this point, like, I don't think we could do much worse. We went to our local granite place and bought a remnant of, well, granite. We wanted to try to find something that looked like marble, but didn't have all the drawbacks of marble. But this granite looks kind of like marble, and kind of like marble is good enough for me. First things first, we can start busting this out, but uh, I don't want to damage the goods, and this is... This is looking good. So we got to figure out how to take this thing out and something tells me it's not going to be hard to yep, figure it out. Pretty sure those screws should have just been untightened um, rather than me forcefully just pulling it out. Here, you can have that back. Oh, so let's go find a big hammer and start beating things off. I've got earplugs in for safety. Always remember to talk louder when you get plugs in. I want you guys to be part of this so I can't hear you if uh, yeah. Look at these thick boys! I expected them to be like the cheap quarter inch tiles, but man, these are... That's why that was more of a pain to knock through than I expected! 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Uh, approximately uh, a 64th of a, a 32nd. Uh, I'm not really sure anymore. There's a lot of blood going to my head right now. <laughs> I had a feeling just based on the way some of those tiles were sitting sideways like boys in the day that it wasn't going to be level under here, and ironically, it's it's not as bad as I had planned. A lot of things around here don't turn out as at all. I got a rusty rusty trowel here that's probably definitely no, that's, that's fine. It's probably straight. We got Henry's 435, 345. This is the best floor leveler that. Uh, well, this is a floor leveler. If this had just been a normal hearth, I. Uh, you know, maybe this wouldn't matter, but granite is a very, very hard stone, which in turn makes it very brittle. So on a countertop where like the heaviest thing you put on there is like a blender, but standing on granite on a surface that is horrifyingly unlevel is just not going to work well. So we're going to go ahead and throw some leveler down here, knock off any high points with a high point knocker offer, and uh, uh, delay the project even further. So perfect. And now I'm in the hurry up and wait uh, section of the process, which is always a fun time. Floor levelers are kind of a finicky beast. You gotta be a little careful with them. Uh, you can't thin them out like you would uh, like a cement or a mortar to make it a little flow easier. You kinda just gotta take them out of the bin and throw them down there and wish for the, for the best. If you mix water with them, you're gonna throw off all their chemistry and you're gonna end up with something that doesn't work. I, I knew a guy once who had his basement sewer line replaced and they patched the concrete. Very, very specific example. I'm just, you know, spitballing off the top of my head. And then he went down there to level the concrete floor with a self leveler. Uh, just, a, just a random example again, just thinking. And he tried to speed up the leveling process. Classic, that guy. And he put a fan blowing air onto his floor patch. Uh, to only to return the next day to find that it did not level in anywhere that there is air blowing over it and the rest of the floor was level 
because you tried to speed up the evaporation curing pro Don't be that guy, because that was super fun to do it all over again. I mean, I bet he had a great time doing it all over again through the center section, but I don't, I, I don't know, I wasn't, I wasn't there. To secure everything down, I choose uh, do it best. Uh, because it's, yeah. I'm gonna go through a little bit there and, oh yeah, just do it really artsy. You want this to look sort of like a Jackson Pollock, um, before and after. Ah, that looks good. A lot of stuff going on there. So now we gotta rely on those pieces of tape to protect our wood floor. So this ought to be good. That was sharper than expected. Okay, it's already stuck on the moving blanket, good. Oh, already dipped my finger in silicone. Oh, I dipped it twice, actually. As soon as I picked it back up, I immediately re-dipped it into silicone. Not sure why the moving blanket's still trapped underneath it, but, ah, oh, the side fell off, huh? Unbelievable. I can believe it. Not sure why I'm still fighting this. I should have probably measured this piece. Uh, oh, it's too late now. Digging it, oh, I dipped my hand in silicone again. That. That's, uh, well now I got silicone all over my hand, so. That's somehow still tucked underneath here. Little lift and twist. Dude, oh, no. <laughs> this is the story of how a moving blanket uh, became part of our heart. If only I could get my fingers in there, my fine five-fingered friend. Um, if only I looked like a tool down here as well. All right, so I guess I gotta, hang on, let's see if it, no, that is not looking good. All right, I gotta go find something to do something with, to do something. This is a tool I didn't want to use because nothing says put more pressure in one spot than a pry bar. But uh, that's just the choices you gotta make in life if you don't want to succeed. Oh. That's how you know you've got a precision fit. Barely measured correctly. T-I- J, T. Hopefully that's a new sound that can just keep happening every time I walk past it. Well, that's in. And I would argue that that looks $43 in an arcade token uh, better. We spent just under $500 on this piece of granite. We would have never been able to afford this type of granite if it hadn't been someone else's leftovers. So if you're doing a fireplace makeover and you're just trying to get rid of the tile or whatever horrifying thing is on the bottom, it's kind of reasonable for the little amount of work that goes into it. We didn't have to set tile, we didn't have to grout, I didn't have to, uh, it, was, it, was, it was heavy, but it was so much less work. So if you like this, well, uh, like it. If you've got a better idea or something we should have done differently, throw it in a comment down below so we can all, you know, figure it out together. Have a good one.